Okay, so the lecture we've been talking about bacteria in the group of Rickettsia and Chlamydia. Let's see the, the two things similarity. Two of these bacteria we call obligate intracellular parasites. Uh, sometime you probably learned two of these bacteria in biology subject because they behave like viruses instead of bacteria. So bacteria can live outside the cells, outside the host cells. They, we call extracellular bacteria. If bacteria grow in the cells, we call intracellular bacteria, right? But this bacteria cannot live outside the cells. So they obligate, they're permanently intracellular bacteria, okay? They steal the ATP of the host for living. Mm -hmm. Genus Chlamydia, they, they don't have any genes in the chromosome that can produce ATP. That's why they need ATP from host only. But Rickettsia, Rickettsia can, can have some ability to produce some energy, ATP, I mean. <coughs> but the ability, uh, the amount of ATP is not enough for their living. So they still only, uh, they still want to have the, the, the ATP from host too. Okay, and two of these cannot, cannot grow or culture on any artificial media in the, the broad or in the uh, solid media. The way that you want to culture rickettsi and chlamydia, you probably need to culture human cell line or animal cell line infected like virus, viral infection in cells. But they are not classified as virus because, because they have both DNA and RNA in the cells. They are cells. Virus are particle, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing, they contain DNA, RNA. But in virus, they probably have DNA, either DNA or RNA, okay? They cannot be both. Uh, they process ribosome and ribosomal protein genes. Unlike virus, they don't have these. So that's why rickets and chlamydia is not classified like, um, like virus. But they also quite different from bacteria. Mm. That's why we, we split into the group of unusual. Uh, they sensitive to many antibiotics, unlike virus. Viruses uh, resist to antibiotic. <coughs> this table help you compare chlamydia, in general chlamydia and rickettsia, okay? The transmission mode, chlamydia infect from person to person, but rickettsia, they need to infect past vector, okay? Vector. Um, uh, Site of replication, chlamydia replicate in endosome, okay? When chlamydia go inside the cells in the vesicle, chlamydia grow up in vesicle. But rickettsia cannot grow in vesicle. They, they escape the vesicle to grow in cytoplasm, okay? The target cell sites, chlamydia, attack columnar epithelium. Okay, that's in the GI tract. Okay, but rickettsia infect endothelium. Okay, the the red blood cells wall. Metabolism of chlamydia and rickettsia different. Rickettsia is, is aerobic bacteria. Chlamydia is an aerobic bacteria. That's the thing. Cytochrome, like I said, chlamydia don't have cytochrome. That's why they cannot process ATP generation of ATP, but Rickettsia produce some cytochrome. That's why they, they, have, they, they have ability to produce ATP, okay? Uh, the multiplication pattern, Rickettsia use binary fission like the other bacteria, but Chlamydia use single development cycle. We will talk about that in the, in the last part of the slides in this lecture. Genus, we start from Rickettsia first, okay? The family Rickettsia, Liquid CAC contains four genus, okay? 
the first genus is Rickettsia. The second genus is Ericea, okay? And then Coxiella and Bartonella. That's four, four main genus of Rickettsia. Let's start from Rickettsia itself. <coughs> the genus Rickettsia hmm, is typically gram-negative bacteria, okay? Gram-negative bacilli, but it look different from, well, the cell's physiology is quite different from the other gram-negative bacteria, but they process cell wall quite similar to gram-negative bacteria. They have no tacric acid. Still remember, tacric acid is the marker of gram-positive, but they contain diamino <coughs> pimalic acid in the, 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 the cell wall of Rickettsia, that's not found in the other gram-negative bacteria, okay? Uh, they are slow growth compared to the other bacteria, okay? Uh, they grow in cytoplasm, okay? That's the, the, the main thing. Um, in Rickettsia, once they spread from intracellular cells to be the other, to meet the, the environment directly, they lost ability to infect to the, the host cell very, very quick, okay? So then if you want to take sample, that means when, when you take sample and want to culture Rickettsia, you probably need the enriched medium and transport medium to maintain severity. Otherwise, you cannot infect Rickettsia in the, in the cell culture because they lost ability very quick, okay? And this table, I, 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 I find that for you to observe the organisms that cause severe disease of Rickettsia. Rickettsia is the main problem in the US, okay? But also, kind of serious problem in Thailand too. Uh, Rickettsia is the, the top one of the by units. So you probably heard the term by units in the late lecture, right? Uh, well, the by units or, or unknown cause fewer. One is Rickettsia, another one is Leptospira interrogans spirochete, another one is Burkhoderia pseudomaliae, you remember from yesterday and something else. Chlamydia also, the one that you, you learned in this lecture too. Apart from that, it probably be virus infection that also cause unknown fever. We, they, they come up with the same symptom, but different uh, uh, diagnosis is very difficult to, to rule which disease, because different, different in positive agents need different treatment. So doctor probably need to know which positive agent for the infection. The disease that come from rickettsia, mostly we will refer to four of these. Uh, the one is spotted fever. The second one is Q fever, and we call endemic typhus. Do not confuse the typhus with, with salmonella, typhi. This is different, this typhus. And epidemic typhus, so four main fever, okay? Spot fever, well, mostly are disease for animal. Human are accidental host. Human is not uh, the main host for, for spot fever. Q fever also, also infected to animal. Endemic uh, So human get infected by inhalation into the, into the body. Endemic, endemic typhus need flea, okay, and also human as accidental host. 
but epidemic typhus use Laos. Laos mean how? Start from rock, uh, spot fever. Spot fever, we call rickettsiosis, caused by rickettsia, rickettsiae. Okay, you probably need to match the positive agent with the symptom, the main symptom. Okay, one classic unit is Rocky, Rocky Mountain Spot Fever. Uh, this is fret by units, main, main cause of fret by units, Rocky Mountain Spot Fever. They use tick as uh, a vector for transfer bacteria. Okay, so the other, the other detail, I will not go to, this is probably too detailed. You can go to read that, but the main point is rickettsia. Rickettsia, rickettsia is the main cause of, of disease. The disease, well, the, the thing that you probably know for Rocky Mountain spot fever, disease, develop rash from, well, rash initially happened on palm, hand palm, and also at the wrist, develop rash around the wrist and uh, in both sides of the hand. Rash spread through the body, stem of the body, wrist first and go to the body later. That's what we were. So when you, when you learn the, the fever with rash, you probably need to know the, the first initial, the, 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 the rash appear initially on which part of the body that help to diagnose disease. This is the, the main for, for spot fever. Well, when we, we talk about the epidemic, epidemic typhus that calls from Laos, this cause from rickettsia provasakiae. Transmit by, by louts, okay? The fever develop, patient develop fever with rash also. But rash caused from stem part of the body go so through the wrist. That's opposite with the, the <coughs> spot fever, okay? So don't confuse. Rickettsia provasakiae develop rash in the body. Rickettsia rickettsii develop rash from the wrist and hand palm. Well, this bacteria provasakiae infected to the Laos lives. There's a lot, but they cannot pass bacteria to the baby baby life. Not present of uh, vertical transmission, okay? So every time the vector needs to bite with infected animal or infected human, that's the, the, the behavior of disease. They develop maculopapular latch, okay? Macules mean big, papules mean pastel. They, they can have big and how can I say swell, maybe contain pus inside, that's maculopapula, okay, from the stem of the body. Mm. So that's the main importance of the Laos, the epidemic typhus fever. Well, but endemic typhus, that's murine typhus, caused by rickettsia typhi. That's another bacteria, okay? So they, they use a uh, lat flea as a vector, okay? The pathogenesis is quite similar to laos born typhus, okay? But the life cycle of the bacteria are different. The endemic and epidemic here, okay? The, the first one, epidemic Laos born, well, when body Laos get infected to uh, bite a human, they transmit bacteria to human and probably get 
they buy infected human and get bacteria into the Laos. So the life cycle is still pass bacteria to Laos and Laos to human, Laos human like this. But the endemic, endemic typhus bacteria can infect rat rodent, the other rodent like rat or sometimes coincidentally by human that can transmit the bacteria to human. That's different, okay? The symptom is quite similar. Uh, this one, scrub typhus, this one is not, is not related to all four. This is actually we, for symptom like this, um, we refer to the bacteria in genus Rickettsia, okay? Scab typhus. This one, scrub typhus is very, it's kind of number one fed by units in Thailand, but not in the US like previous one. Uh, this one, actually formerly uh, Rickettsia, but now they moved to the new species, Orientia, Susugamushi, okay? Bacteria get infected in the mite, okay? And mite living in the ground, infected rodent. Rodent has mites, that's kind of life cycle of, of bacteria in the vector. And coincidentally, might that contain Orientia susugamushi infect human and cause rash. Okay, that's crop typhus. The first bite lesion, you see the uh, necrotic S char at the, 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 the bite position. Well, the lesion kind of black in the middle and red swelling around the, the black center. So after the, the a human get infected by, by uh, arachnid bite, just about 70%, 80% of patients develop this symptom. This is the key symptom to to identify later on, they develop maculopapular rash after five days of bite. Okay. Untreated patient can lead to die. About one third of the all un untreated patient. That's very severe, also. And this one is number one in Thailand for trip by units. Okay. Another one is Q fever. Q fever caused by bacteria in Rickettsia group, but chained to the, the chain genus to Coxiella bonetii. Coxiella bonetii is, well, they mostly cause um, disease quite similar to Rickettsia, actually. Well, detail of disease may be maybe not so important for you guys because they are less important in Thailand. I probably think, but you probably know like Q fever caused by Coxiella benetii. Um, well, I, I can jump to the next part. The laboratory diagnosis for Likertsia is immunohistochemistry, okay? They stain with so many dye, gym sustain, um, so many dye for staining. Zero, zero test, they use antibody to identify antigen. The viophilic test is production of serum antibody reacted. Well, this one, this one need to call culture of bacteria with Proteus vulgaris to see the antigen. Uh, well, we probably talk about OX19, OX2, OXK antigen, but that's probably detailed. But you, you probably need to know like the, the detection of rickets, you probably use immunohistochemistry section of the tissue 
and use antibody tests for confirm the, the serotype or molecular di detection, molecular diagnosis, use PCR. Specific amplification. If PCR stay negative, that means the sample not contain DNA of, of rickett seal bacteria, okay? Family Chlamydia, Chlamydia. Previously, three bacteria contain in the same genus Chlamydia, but now they move to, two of these move from Chlamydia to Chlamydophila. <coughs> so this group has Chlamydia trachomatis, uh, Chlamydophila pneumoniae, okay, two, two main positive uh, agent. One, Chlamydia trachomatis cause uh, urogenital infection and trachoma. The Chlamydia pneumonia, Chlamydophila pneumonia cause bronchitis pneumonia. But this pneumonia from Chlamydophila is not, not common like strep pneumo, capsular pneumo or Haemophilus influenza, that's more common than Chlamydophila. <clears throat> the general characteristic of, of this genus is obfricate, intracellular parasite. In the old day, they probably present in biology textbook, but now we know it's not virus. They contain, like I, I said before, DNA, RNA, and ribosome, that's make their Classify not as virus, okay? Uh, they cannot synthesize any energy inside the cell, so they steal energy from host, okay? The structure of cells, cells of chlamydia and chlamydophila contain two forms. One form we call elementary body or EB. Elementary body are small, we call this as infectious form of chlamydia. When chlamydia want to infect to the new human, they, they change itself to EB form, okay? One, the EB form chlamydia attached because the surface of EB form present of the ligand that can bind to receptor of the host cells, then infection established by binding of the receptor and ligand, okay? Uh, host cell pull up Chlamydia in the vesicle, okay? Mostly Chlamydia infected columnar epithelial cell that's present in, in the GI tract, okay? Oral fecal, something like that. And sometimes they can also infect macrophage. Once they go to the cells, the Chlamydia EB form will transform itself to the RB form, okay? RB form is non-infectious intracellular form. They escape its, itself. They, they change itself to stay in the vesicle. And this form can replicate and have metabolic metabolism. Well, the, the RB form is kind of bacterial form. EB form is kind of tough form that can, can let bacteria spread to the other person. So one that they spread from person to another person, they probably need to touch some environment in a little bit. That's why they need some tough form. <coughs> so see the, the, the picture. This is the infected cells. The EB form, elementary body, infect to the cells and stay in the, in the vesicle. And then EB form transform to be RB form, RB form probably bigger, bigger form in the endosome. And this one, bacteria start uh, uh, metabolite and stay dividing. So uh, multiplication of bacteria happen in this, in this state, okay? Once bacteria multiply a lot, some of them can, can change back to the EB form. And then uh, endosome move to fuse with membrane and release the EB form 
chlamydia out of the cell. Okay, this is the, the, the state that they can pass from one to another person. Okay, chlamydia trachomatis. Okay, chlamydia trachomatis cause conjunctivitis, pneumonia in the very young baby um, and genital tract infection. Okay, they cause non gonorrheal uh what non gonococcal uretitis actually sorry this is the disease from chlamydia trachomatis so gonorrhea can cause by nicely gonorrhea and chlamydia trachomatis okay they probably infect uh Eyes actually infect eyes of patient and cause conjunctivitis. Okay, that's the point. So again, compare the the major feature of rickettsia and chlamydia. And to bacteria and viruses. Bacteria probably contain both DNA and RNA. So same with chlamydia rickettsia. Um, they are applicate intracellular parasite. This ability make rickettsia chlamydia probably similar to viruses, but not bacteria, okay? They process peptidoglycan cell wall. That's probably rickettsia, but chlamydia actually, well, should be plus minus, they are thin peptidoglycan, okay? Uh, grow on non-living medium, just like uh, agar. Likasi and chlamydia cannot do that, okay? The process ribosome, yes, similar to bacteria, but differ from virus, okay? Sensitive to antibiotic because they're bacteria, but well, like, like I said, antibiotic that kill rickettsia bacteria still, well, um, penicillin is work, uh, and also ribosome attack uh, aminoglycosides, something like that. They're sensitive to interferon, no, but chlamydia do, okay, and perform binary fission. Oh, this one is negative should be no so that's all for rickettsia chlamydia yeah.